my beautiful gems. How are you all doing today? Hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are. So today I'm planning to cook um, chicken curry, dal puri, and passion fruit juice. So as soon as I'm finished watering our garden, we'll start cooking. Now these are my ingredients that I'll be using today. Here I have shallot, broad thyme, fine thyme. And then we have garlic, hot pepper, split peas or dal, jeera, salt, oil, baking powder, and all-purpose flour. Remember to wash your hands before you start cooking. Okay. Remember to just search through it to see if there's any small pebbles. Okay. Now I'm gonna rinse this like about two or three times. Now some people would leave this to get to a rolling boil and then pour in the, the peas. I didn't soak mine. I'm gonna so I'm gonna put it in early with the cold water. Alright, so it's been about 15 minutes now. The peas is boiling. Alright, let me just check on it. Right, mine needs like about an next five minutes more to boil. It's been about 20 minutes now. Let me check back the dal. So this is ready. Ow, 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 ow. When you squeeze it between your finger, you'll be able to feel a little grain inside. That's the consistency you'll need. Woo! Now we're getting a little facial here. I'm going to leave this to drain and cool and get started on our dough. All right, so I have like about two, two pounds of flour here. I'm gonna do like one and a half teaspoons baking powder and I'm going to knead this. You can see how soft it is. So what I'll do here now, I'm gonna take some of this oil and just pack it. And then you can use a damp cloth or tissue and just cover it nicely and then spread a hand towel over it. In this way, it wouldn't form a hard crust on the dough. Now I'll set that aside and I'll start doing my hard fall curry. And I'm going to use like about a car of white vinegar to wash the meat. Look, the, the hard fall. It even got egg inside, look. All right. So these are my seasoning I'll be using. Here I have some salt piece of ginger, onion, garlic, jeera, masala, curry powder. This is fresh thai. For my seasoning, my green seasoning, here I have fresh bandana, broad thyme, fine thyme, mardman or basil, shallot, hot peppers, wuri pepper and tiger teeth. You can use any hot pepper you prefer and some shallot. I'm going to add one and a half teaspoon masala, one and a half teaspoon jeera, two teaspoon curry powder. I'm going to put one teaspoon of the turmeric because it's fresh and if you cook with a lot, it's going to have a, a kind of bittery taste and salty taste. So my oil is nice and hot. I'm going to add in 
all my seasonings. I'm gonna let this fry a little and then I'll add some water for it to chunk it. Alright, so this is ready, now I'll add the meat. Alright, when I'm ready to put in the water to boil, then I'll add then I'll add these eggs. Alright, now I'll cover this and leave it to bungee until it starts losing its own water and the, the, its own water will evaporate back. Alright, let's just check on the good. Now see it it, it loses its own water. The bunjain process is basically um, like burning out the the rankness of the meat. So once this water evaporates, I'm going to add about two cups of water and leave it to boil and to get tender. Now with the hard fowl, some people like to use the pressure cooker for it to get soft faster. But my husband doesn't like it that way. When you boil it, it gets a nice soft chewy texture. So I'll leave this to boil until it gets tender. I forgot to add the pepper. Just pop these in in the meantime. Now, my chicken is halfway through boiling, so now I'm going to add the eggs. Okay, guys, when last you all see a meal like this? Well, technically, it's pieces of the meal because I open it to wash it so let me just fix it up and then we'll set this up to start writing our chickpeas it's old but it's still working great All done. All right, so I'm getting a little bit help from Megan. <laughs> and she's camera shy also. Now I don't have a flat surface whereby I can put the mail. I'm kind of doing a DIY for it to work. All right, so I got this mail like about six or seven years now. I got it from one of my aunt. Auntie Tanu, if you're watching this, old girl still working good. Here I have the garlic. I'm going to add that along with the pepper and the broad thyme, shallot, and the fine thyme. All right. So this looks good. It's loosey and nice, kind of like a sandy texture. I'm gonna add like about two teaspoons of jeera. And then we mix this well. And that's it for our filling. As you can see here, my dough is nice and soft. Now I'm going to make small balls. Like this right here. I just flow my hands a little.
Okay, so I got like about 25 uh, roti loy. So this recipe, my mom taught me how to make this. And it's delicious. Thank you, mom. I always love my mom cooking. Anyway, to this oil here, I'm going to add like about a, a spoon, a tablespoon of ghee. All right, so now I'll take one of the ball and I'll. So I'm going to flatten the edges. So the center will have this thickness still, just the edges you'll flatten, and then take some of the ghee and the oil and then take like about a tablespoon of the split peas mixture and then grab all the edges together then I'll pinch it like this to make to form the seal and that's done. All right, it's been about an hour and a half now. This has been boiling. So let's see if the meat can cut. If it does, it's finished. Boom. All right, so it's all nice and soft now. And it doesn't have a lot of gravy. This is how I like it. So if you want more gravy to this, you can do whichever, however you want. I like it this way. Lastly, I'm going to add my shallot and celery. Now my hard fowl curry is finished. So my pan is hot. All right, now we want to wait until we see like some tiny bubbles at the top here. Then we're gonna flip it over. And in case you were wondering, what am I doing with all this oil and ghee? Well, this is where I'll use the remaining of the oil and the ghee. So I'm gonna take a little bit and just rub it all over the puri. I'll flip it over again. And you have to do this fast, quickly, because as you can see, it started to swell. Remember that the puri is very thin, so it'll cook fast. And you just press the edges. And boom, it's done. Okay, so Megan is going to take over for me now. Yeah. No, no, it's starting already. Just turn it over. Yeah. There you go. Get some of the oil now. Careful. Careful. Yeah. Careful before you get more. Rub it all over quick. Flip it over. I just need to try to press. Okay, this one is a, here is a finish. Swelling. Jigglypuff. You know what it looks like? Jigglypuff. Big belly up that I eat. Huh? Look at big belly up that I eat. <laughs> okay, this is done. Take it out. Careful! Uh, 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 uh. It burns! <laughs> Here's this one. Well, that was a fail. <laughs> <laughs> Life is starting like burns on the tower. Just take up this one and just rub it off. 
So our dal puri is finished. Okay, so this is my hard fowl curry. And that's my dal puri. My tall glass of fresh homemade passion fruit juice. So my beautiful gems, remember everyone cooks differently. Hope you give my recipe a try and enjoy it. God bless you. I love you. Be safe. And see you in my next video.